What are you doing to protect us from tyrannical government? Um, sorry, I, I've been watching your other interviews, so I've been, I knew this was going to come up. Um, I think that I agree with a lot. Max Levchin is a board member and a good friend, and, uh, and I agree with a lot of what he said, so I'm not going to, to repeat that. But what I will say is I'm really proud, and I can't take credit for it because it happened before I got to Yahoo, but I'm proud to be part of an organization that from the very beginning in 2007 with the NSA and FISA and PRISM has been skeptical of and has been yeah. scrutinizing those requests. In 2007, Yahoo filed a lawsuit uh, against the, the new, uh, the Patriot yeah. Act parts of, of PRISM and FISA. Um, we fought that. Uh, we were the, the, the key plaintiff. A lot of people have wondered about that case and who, and who it was. It was us. You lost. Well, we lost. And then um, you caved. Not you, you weren't there yet, but. Right, but the thing is, like, when you, when you, lo when, when you lose, so we, we fought, we lost, yeah. you, if you don't comply, it's treason. Yeah, treason. So, and which, I'll, you know. Well, you're, so, and now you're going through the process of suing the so, government. So now what we do is, on each request, we review it, we scrutinize it, we push back on a lot, we push back on a lot of requests yeah. from local government, we, we push back on requests um, in, in, uh, you know, in terms of the NSA. We can't talk about those why? things because they're classified. What is, I mean, uh, why? And so, uh, so I mean, just... Let's just say, like, right now you were just to tell us the truth about what's going on, the stuff that's classified. Like, wh what do you think would happen to you? Um, I mean, releasing classified information is treason. And then what happens? Which generally and lands you, you know, incarcerated. So, so you're, you're <laughs> or not. Or could, and so. So you're not. So, I mean, we are. I mean, I, I think that when you look at, you know, we actually think that it makes more sense in terms of scrutinizing requests, analyzing them, doing our best to protect our users. Yeah. That it makes sense for us to work within the system. We filed suit against the government again on Monday, asking to be able to be more transparent yeah. with the numbers on the NSA requests. So, you know, we have really, you know, taken the charge, as have a lot of other companies as well, of pushing for more transparency, of pushing back on unreasonable requests, of pushing back on what we viewed as, as legislation that might not, be, might not be reasonable. And we you know, are constantly in a position of petitioning the government to be able to release, for example, the documents of that 2007 case. Um, so, you know, we're going to keep doing those things. Yeah. For us, it's really about protecting our users, for our users to understand what's happening on our site, what's happening yeah. broadly across the industry, and really how at risk they and their data are, which is why we released our first transparency report on Friday. Well, I want to thank you. I've asked this question of every single person except Mark Benioff because he was on this monologue that was too good to stop about Steve Jobs, but I've asked everyone else and I haven't gotten a single answer yet that I thought was even a even an honest answer. I mean, for you to actually say like what you said and reasons why you can't talk is, uh, is, 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 is great, thank you. And as I said, I mean, this is just, this isn't about this particular thing, it's just sure. classified information. You don't want, I mean, It yeah. can be classified that way, and if it is classified as treason, it can be, so, you know, that's what I can say. And you don't think the best way to serve your shareholders and users is from jail, or whatever? Mm -hmm.